Welcome to the Death Ray Cat channel. It's time for another lesson. We're going to look at the solo to make a circuit with me by the Polecats. I did a lesson with the riff and the chords in another video. You can go check that out. Um, so this is what it's going to sound like. <laughs> And I've also played it a little bit slower as well, so that might help with trying to figure it out. I'm going to go through the solo slowly in this video. I've got the tabs out on my Patreon, there'll be links for that below. So, here we go. First bar of this solo. We're playing notes from a major scale, and that's leading up to that A. So, it's cool to know your scales if you can. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. You will find they keep popping up everywhere. There's a bit of a swing feel to this as well, instead of just like straight. But yeah, that's your first kind of bar, and then we're going from... That's your next little bit. When I'm learning a solo, I like to just break it down into little bite-sized chunks, so I'll, I'll find a little bit and work on it till I got it. And then, yeah, your next chunk, if you like, will be... That's your next bit. There's a little hammer on on the one and two. Got open B and second fret on the G there. Next bit. So, yeah, you've got a little kind of slide there. back and forth on the second and fourth fret then a hammer on on the third fret open G open D all of these little bits are useful you could use these in other solos if you're in D you know so that's why I enjoy working out solos like find bits that I like and steal them and put them in my own Things. Okay, so we're up to here. All the tabs are in my Patreon. Uh, this bit's a nice little kind of... It's kind of following that pentatonic, still D major. Yeah. Sliding up second to fourth on the A and then the D. So a lot of back and forth there. This bit. I'm doing it with a slide you could bend if you wanted. But I'm thinking, I think I hear a slide there. Um, that's it, that's like the first half of the solo and it's kind of all in that position around here. And what we're going to do, we're going to travel up the, the neck. We're going to start bringing it up this way and we're going to go from major to minor as well. So we got this. We got a bend on the 10th fret on the G. Landing on the D on the 12th fret. On the 12th fret. And then um, we're kind of, yeah, traveling up this minor pentatonic. So... Um, It is handy if you know where your scales are, it's not the end of the world if you don't, but it does help, so if you get a chance, look into that. Anyway, we're going to slide from the 12th to the 14th, kind of rest there for a little bit, and then move up the rest of that scale. Uh, and then once we've got up to that 15th fret there, we're going to bend it four times. And then it kind of comes down from that bend. 
There's that little motif which it repeats in a bit. Again, so this is how I play it. There might be other ways that are easier for you to play it, talking about the finger placements and the the positions more than anything. I think I've got the notes right, but... There's a number of different ways you could play that, but I've, I've tabbed out the way I do it. That's the way I like it. Um, I have been watching the live videos a little bit and trying to see what his hand's doing where I can. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's all tabbed out for you. I've got a slower version and a faster version. Tabs will be on my Patreon. If you want to head over there, there's loads more exclusive videos and tabs and other lessons and stuff like that. Or if you want to go follow my band, X-Ray Cat Trio, you can buy some merch, help us out. i got some Death Ray Cat t-shirts as well. And yeah, come back for some more lessons. I'll be here soon. See you later.